In this video, you will see how to update firmware for a 615 series relay. Note that this process is also applicable to 620 series relays. Firmware updates can be downloaded from the ABB Data Care website. In order to get the right update package, all you need is the serial number for the relay. If you need to know how to find the serial number, you can find this information in another video. First, you need to make sure that an update is necessary by checking the version number of the current firmware installed. You can do this on the Relay LHMI. Browse through the menu and select Information and then select Product Identifiers. There you can see the firmware version number listed as the SW version. You can also find the version number in PCM600 if you have a live connection to the relay to read the parameters from the relay. You can do this by right-clicking on the relay and choosing Parameter Setting. Then, open IED Configuration and open Information. Click on Product Identifiers. Here you can see the latest information that PCM has about the relay, including the firmware version number, again listed as the SW version. To update this with the correct information from the relay, click on Read Properties from IED. Click OK and then select to read the product identifiers. Click OK to import the data. If the firmware version number is lower than the desired update number, then the relay can be updated. If the version number is the same, then the relay is already up to date. To get the firmware update, go to the ABB Data Care website. Enter the serial number and click Proceed. You can also enter multiple serial numbers if you need to download updates for several relays. Here you can see the available updates for your relay. Click the arrow to download the update and save it in a suitable location. The update downloads a zip file. You'll need to unzip the folder before you can install it. Right-click and use WinZip to extract the file. The update is now ready to be installed, so you need to connect to the relay. You can find out how to connect to the relay in another video. Once you are connected, you need to make sure that you have the latest configuration data for the relay in PCM600. Right-click on the relay and select Read from IED. The data will now update in PCM600. Now the configuration data is up to date. Right-click on the relay and select Update IED. This will start the update wizard. Click Next to start the update. Select the update file by clicking Browse and navigating to the file you downloaded. Click Next and then click Next again to start the update. This will take several minutes. Once the update has finished, click Close. If the update fails, you will need to start the update again. The update may fail because there is not enough memory in the relay for the update file. You can make room for this file by deleting the disturbance records. On the Relay LHMI display, press Clear, then Browse to Disturbance Records and set this to Clear. You can confirm that the update has been successful by checking the firmware version number in PCM600. Open IED Configuration and then open Information. Click on Product Identifiers to choose Parameter Setting. You can see that the previous version number is shown in the PC Value column. Click Read Parameters from IED to get the updated version number from the relay. You can see it has been updated with the new version number. You can also confirm the update on the Relay LHMI display. You can find the firmware version number by browsing through the menu to Information and then selecting Product Identifiers. As you can see, the version number matches the number of the update, which means that the update has been installed correctly. If the version number doesn't match, this means that the update has not been successful and you will need to try again. After the update, an LCT warning will be shown on the Relay LHMI display. You can remove this in PCM600 by right-clicking on the Relay and selecting Lifecycle Handling, and then 
Collect IED composition data. Select the data to be gathered from the relay and then click OK. Once the data has been collected, click OK again. The LCT warning will now have disappeared. Let's finish by recapping the steps involved in updating the firmware for a 615 series relay. First, confirm that an update is necessary by checking the relay firmware version number. If it is, start the update procedure by finding the serial number of the relay. Then enter the serial number on the ABB Data Care site to download the update file. Next, save and unzip the file. Connect to the relay in PCM600, entering the correct IP address if necessary. Start the update and select the update file you downloaded. Lastly, once the update has completed, check the version numbers on the PCM600 and on the relay's display to make sure it has installed correctly.